Not that I really need to mention this, but I felt like I should anyways. <clears throat> um, so, you know, I had the plane crash. Shouldn't be alive. I'm alive. <laughs> Some, something saved my life. Um, hand, if I try to squeeze all the fingers right now, you can see from the last time I showed you this, I can move a little more, but not a whole lot more. This one's the worst still. Hurts a little bit if I push too hard. Thumb, where is Thumbkin? That's, a, that's about all I got. I don't know if it's really improved much, maybe a little bit. You guys would have to judge. I think it is moving a little more. Um, <clears throat> I can do this, but <clears throat> so I met a guy like a year ago or so, fellow treasure hunter. He was being interviewed by a guy that I know. And three days before they uploaded that video, I had a dream. I was inside the place he was about to describe in the video that was going to be uploaded three days later after my dream. So I'm watching the video three days later and I'm like, I was in there. Oh my God, I was in there. If, we're, if I'm in there, that means we should be able to find this place because he can't find this place again that he's telling the story about. And it happens to be in the mountain range that I go to in New Mexico. So I was like, hey, got to get me contact with this guy. I, I, I had a dream. I was like, let me call him. Tell, you know, so I talked to the guy. <clears throat> we ended up meeting at one point and just hit it off. He's like one of these people that's part of your soul tribe. You know what I mean? Like he's, he's part of your soul tribe. Um, so he says, you know, I don't ever dream. You tell me these stories about your dreams and stuff. I, I don't dream, man. I don't get dreams. If I do, I sure don't remember them. I don't, I don't think I dream. And I go, oh, interesting. Starts having dreams. Man, ever since I met you, I started having some, every now and then I have one. He goes, I've seen me and you. And he told, he told me when he had them. Remember that one video, drone video you showed me? Yeah. I can't get that thing out of my head. That thing's amazing looking. I, I want to get up there. I go, it's only way up there is a helicopter. You're not getting up there without a helicopter. And <clears throat> he's like, yeah, I know. But, he, you know, he told me some of the stuff about the dream. And I go, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool, man. I think you and I will at some point go inside this place and we can find out how to get in and, uh, you know, things like that. So, Hey man, I got a plane, me to him. I got a plane. You know, I'm going to be able to go up there to New Mexico quickly in one day and all that stuff. Oh, cool. Not too long after I got that plane. Hey man, I got, I got one of the, him to me Man, I had like a dream. Uh, you were flying, you were, you know, you were flying it in your plane <clears throat> and uh like you had a fuel like you had a fuel problem or something and i go well that's interesting because the the fuel boost pump which is essentially a backup pump and you use it to help start the plane initially um has a little seep hole that if it starts dripping any fuel or anything it's letting you know the internals are starting to leak the o-rings and things time to get it rebuilt doesn't mean it's going to fail but if it's leaking out drips of fuel i don't you know to the outside of the plane because that's how it's ran and the exhaust is right there coming out yeah you know yeah i probably shouldn't fly the thing so i didn't i said man i i literally just fixed it i got a fuel pump for it we put it on it's good so hopefully <laughs> that little premonition thing you had uh that was this and we're good and you know because again if i didn't do the fuel pump i would be flying it and maybe i would have a fuel prop you know i don't know you know so he didn't say what the fuel problem was, just that's what he got. And I go, okay. So I'm thinking I'm clear. As you know, I crashed the plane because I had an engine out last November. And they still haven't gotten back to me. NTSB, FAA, we're looking, we're investigating. We don't know. Don't know why what, why the engine basically died. <clears throat> so I'm still waiting myself. But I'm going, son of a bitch. You said I was flying up in the sky, man, and I had an engine uh, fuel problem. And I go, it's either fuel or spark. It's only two things that's really going to cause this thing not to be able to fly. 
I mean, there's air coming in, but I mean, you're not going to not have air come in for the most part. Um, you know, unless I guess maybe your throttle stuck. If your throttle cable stuck, then you wouldn't have air, and that that could definitely starve it to where it only wants to idle. But again, it didn't idle. It was the engine apparently died. So, anyways, you know, so he got that, and I go, dang, you know, okay, I, I you know, he he's got some information, you know, from time to time. This is interesting. So. Uh, I had to send my helicopter, the one right behind me, to get the annual done back in August. And it needed a couple things. One was a hard to find part. It's really expensive new. And even if we order it new, they've got to like special order it. for like We can get a used one for half the price. And it's a part that honestly, it doesn't matter if it's new or used. And I'm like, well, yeah, just get the, get the used one. So I found one, finally got it. <clears throat> but they had the thing for months. And then he's finally done with it. And I'm like, my hand's jacked up. My, my chest still hurts from the crash. I'm going, can you, would you fly it to me? And then I'll just pay you extra for doing that. Yeah, I can do that. So he did, flew it over here. And I thought to myself, it'd be a good to let him, it, almost a two hour flight from where he was at. You know, rather him break it in after getting a big annual done than me, you know, especially after just crashing. I think I'd let, like to let him test fly it, you know, the helicopter. So, no problems. He comes over. Everything's good. And, you know, I've got this little tow, electric tow cart thing that picks it up off the skid, whatever, and I, and I can push, put it in the, in the hangar. So I'm like, well, I'll just sit here for now because I'm not going to fly this thing until I'm healed up, you know. And so, you know, it's January last month, and yeah, lo and behold, it needs a fuel boost pump, just like the plane. It's seeping out of the little seep hole, letting you know, not a lot, just a little drip here or there, but enough to say, you need to replace this. It's just like the plane. Ah, uh, okay, well, that's great. Uh, 500 bucks later, got it rebuilt. You know, we're putting it on. And, <clears throat> you know, I think it was just prior to that, actually prior to me doing this, like so a few weeks ago, because I just did this. Um, the fuel pump I just did recently, very recently. Um, or I should say we, so, um, back to January, my friend Walt, the guy who doesn't get dreams, who did get some, man, I'm, I'm seeing you flying with like a, a pretty decent oil leak in your helicopter. You need, you, you need to check that. I just got that, that dream. I go, Oh shit. Okay. And I said, well, these engines typically like homing IO 360. They're together, there's a seam around the whole engine. So it comes off in two pieces, essentially. You, you know, it's like the engine's cut in half. But those things are notorious to leak after ages and ages of, you know, use. And this engine has to get rebuilt, I think, without looking, maybe every 1,500 hours is like what it's rec the recommended you know time you need to really get it rebuilt. And I may have like 250 hours left before it needs to get rebuilt. When I bought the thing... Maybe it's about 300 or something hours left. Because when I bought it, I had like 480 hours on the motor left. And I knew that. And then now I've got like 280 or 300. So, um, <clears throat> so I'm looking, I got to take a peek and I go, ah. I put, I put a piece of cardboard under it. And I'm like, and this is after the guy just dropped it off and he got an Uber to take him back to like Orlando where he was actually going. Um, so I'm like, yeah, it's, there's some oil dripping in the back of this engine. That's, I've not seen oil back there drip yet. And I go, wait a minute, that's around where that engine half casing was leaking last time. And they were able to seal it with some sealant stuff. And he's like, it's, you're just taking a shot. It may work, it may not. And it may be temporary. I said, okay, might as well do it rather than check the engine out and have to get it rebuilt. You know, it's not a big deal. <clears throat> Especially if you're monitoring the oil and everything. So I think maybe that started leaking again. And so I'm going, okay, it's it's a bit wet over here. Okay, got it. So I'm going, well, chalk another one off for Walt. You know, hey, man, I think you're right, you know. So uh, I added a quarter oil that it needed, and uh, that was it. I didn't do anything else. I didn't fly it. I didn't start it. I just left it alone. And uh, so he's like, hey, man, uh, I got another dream. This is like days later. You, you were flying your helicopter, and uh, I just saw a bunch of smoke filling the cockpit. 
and it was coming like from in front, but but like in behind like the instrument panel. That's where it was coming in at. And I saw you like open the door so that the air, you know, could help get it out. And you were finally able to see because you really couldn't see um, when it initially happened. It was so much smoke. And then you were able to see enough and you set the helicopter down and, you know, you, you, you did put it down. And I'm like, is that the oil leak smoking all over the exhaust, you know, and then coming up? That's very possible. Um, I don't, I don't know. Is it, a, is it an electrical thing that's about to happen inside the, behind the instrument panel? But I do have a switch, a master switch essentially for the battery. And it's all, basically when you flip that switch, the entire helicopter is not getting any power anywhere. Even the alternator won't, won't work, you know, won't produce power. So it's like, if that would happen, I would already know, flip the switch right away. And then in case it was electrical deal. But it sounded to me like it's probably going to be oil burning all over the exhaust. <clears throat> like the leak just got really bad, you know, that kind of thing. So I'm like, you know, gr great, you know, great. <laughs> and he goes, I'm just getting for the entire month, the rest of the month, don't fly your helicopter. Like it was just like for, for at least a month, don't fly your helicopter. And that was early January. So I'm like, hey, I don't have a reason to. My hand's still messed up. My chest, you know, still a little hurting. A little bit early January. Now it, it, my chest is fine. You know, again, from the from the airplane crash. So I, uh, I'm i like, you know, boy, there's a lot of signs here right now, Mr. J. Snip, isn't there? And okay, so, all right, let me, let us go, you know, let me go put this fuel pump on recently. And uh, like days ago, so I go out there Ah, uh, we need to get some part. I need to get a couple different kind of butt connectors. All right, go to the go to the auto parts store because they had the thing I needed. Come back. Ah, shit, I need a different one. Gotta go go back second time. Come back. Son of a bitch, I need this other thing. Damn it. Go back again. Third time. Come back. Okay, finally got it. We soldered it. Everything's good. Like good connection. Uh, again for this fuel boost pump, electric pump, and this is a twenty four volt. DC battery system, by the way. And all right, I got, you know, got the dumb thing on. Let's flip the battery. Yep. Flip the fuel boost switch. Okay, good, good. I don't see anything leaking. All the fittings, good. No leaks, good. Shut, shut it off. Okay. Now let me sit in there and actually start it up in, in the hangar. I'm not going to spin the blades up. I'm just going to let the engine run at idle, get out. Walk back on the other side where the fuel boost pump is and, and look and look around. Same thing with the oil leaks. Maybe I'll see the oil coming out better. You know, whatever's happened. I'll get, I'll get a couple of good looks. Got a nice, powerful LED flashlight. Let's let me go. over. So I sit down, do the little checklist. Da, da, da. Okay, here we go. Press the start button. Starter in. Start engaged. Click, 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 click. What? Let go. Do it again. Click, 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 click. You effing tell me my battery's dead? I bought the top of the line AGM gel battery like two years ago now, almost. Thousand dollar effing battery, of course, everything in aviation is expensive, but that was more than the seven hundred dollar batteries I could have got for it. But I wanted, you know, I want the I want the best. I want the you know safest, best, you know, I want to, I'm not playing games. So I had this thing sitting on the trickle charger. It's I came in, I saw it, it said full. You know, of course it's been full. I haven't been over there. Fully charged. It's ready. What the hell's wrong with the battery? I look on the side and it had a, a part number and I go, let me look up. I, Cause when I bought that battery two years ago, it was off of eBay. One single aviation guy on eBay had one battery available at the time. Again, COVID time. And I'm like, Oh, I gotta have it. So I'm going to get it. So I went back on eBay. That's, it's not the same battery. This battery is a lead acid, blah, blah, blah. My battery was a, a, a GM gel cell. Nice one. And then, oh, you fucking, are you telling me someone stole my effing battery? When I just had the annual done over there? Did someone effing steal it and give me the piece of shit? You got, no, come on. I know what I bought. It's a different brand. But I thought, well, maybe after I left, maybe it was a sticker and there's a little casing over the battery. Maybe that's what you, you know, okay. All right. Maybe. So let me go online. 
Now, I know that exact batter I want because it's the one I had. Let me buy another one for a thousand and something dollars, a little more now. And nobody has it in stock. Uh, we have three coming in between nine and 12 days and a dozen or more coming in between 40 something and 60 days from now. What the? F and I'm thinking, so there's probably back orders and the three that are coming in the nine to 12 days are going to be accounted for. Probably. I mean, unless I get lucky and one of them is going to be for me, I doubt it, but whatever. And I'm going, how many, something is trying to stop you with everything they've got from getting in this effing helicopter and doing anything with it. I can't even get the effing thing started. What's the worst that could happen? Well, you did just put a fuel boost pump on, didn't you? Yeah. What if the effing thing did have a leak and you fire it up and it catches fire? Uh, good point. Good point. But I did flip the switch. It ran and pressurized. There was no leaks. Therefore, if I start the engine, again, it should not leak at all. But that, theoretically, that could have been a possibility. <clears throat> I do have a fire extinguisher. I have a, a water hose right there. Like, I don't think I'd have been in too much trouble. So, it won't start. Oh, I've had enough. Three trips to the parts. I've had enough. Let's get the F out of here. Going home. Go home. Walt. Like, that day. Or the, uh, no, that night. I say to myself, or to spirit, spirit, could you, uh, is it time to sell everything that I happen to have, you know, whatever I own aviation wise. So I got, you know, the plane thing, that thing's done, whatever helicopter. Do I need to just effing get rid of anything that flies right now? Could you, would you mind giving me a dream on this? Cause I'm, I'm feeling like, yeah, you should. The signs are there. So I'm going, let me just ask for a dream. Ian comes in. That was the first night he came in. I had a bad dream. Okay, come on. Come in the bed. Can't sleep because he's nudging you all night long. And um, so I didn't get a dream. You know, I wasn't even able to sleep. So uh, that morning, Walt sends me a message. Or it was later in the afternoon, he sent me a message. I was just taking a nap. And right as I came out, I had this premonition where it hit me. He goes... Do not fly anything that you own. If you have any aircraft, whatever it is, don't fly any of it for the for the distant future. I go, didn't get a dream. Spirit sends them right over. Hey, man, got something for, for you this, just after, this afternoon. Woke up from a nap. Okay. Okay, well, there's my answer. You know, okay. I said, dude, you you don't know this because I didn't tell you yet, but I was just asking last night, I should I get rid of this damn thing? Just be done with it. Fire cell, get rid of it. Okay. He goes, you know, I feel that for the, for the foreseeable future, for a period of time, you shouldn't fly anything. Just something. Don't, don't fly nothing. But there will be a time, we both agreed, <clears throat> it'll be okay to do it again. So in other words, shit's about to get a little, you know, crazy in the world politically and everything else. As you've just heard, there's been a couple of deaths of some high level people. I just did a video on that, um, especially on Rumble. You know, and again, I'm wondering how my plane just quit. Was I targeted for some reason? Does somebody know, oh, that guy's going to be super famous in the future because of blah, 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 blah. We know it now. Let's take him out. Again, Webbot, Cliff Hyde, you're going to be so famous. You need to wear an effing wig because so many people recognize you everywhere you go. They'll know you. What could make me that? I'm Cliff, what could make me that famous? I don't even need it. I don't care. I know, but uh, I, I don't know. I don't have enough data yet. I go, and I thought it has to be, it has to be me with my dream about Trump and an aviation accident with him all three times in helicopters. And I'm pretty sure... I think he might have gotten my message and I'm hoping there'll be some kind of something that happens to where he goes, you know, I'm not getting on board this time. And then something happens and no matter what the news tells you, I saw it in the first one. I'll pull a Joe Biden on you. He's not on board. Whatever the hell that means. <clears throat> Oh my God, you're the guy that saved Trump's life. Oh my God, you're the guy. 
Maybe that's what it was. That's the only thing I can think of. And uh, so, anyways, I'm talking to Woo Dude about it too, and and I came to the conclusion, anyways. And then he started telling me, and I go, "Well, yeah, I know, <laughs> I know. Believe me, I know now." <clears throat> and that is, I don't. None of us think Trump is actually going to have this accident in a helicopter. At first, I thought, well, that's what they're showing me three times now. And third time's the charm when it comes to my dreams. It, whatever that is, that's going to happen soon. But it's like, no, they were showing you crashing in the helicopter. Weren't you in that helicopter every time it crashed? Yeah. First dream I was in it, I was piloting it. Crash, Trump's in the back. Where'd he go? He never got on board. Well, of course he did. I saw him. No, he never got on board. Oh. Second dream, some guy shows up at an airport with a turbine helicopter. Hey, take it for a spin. Take your family up. Go for it, man. Have a good time. All right, cool. I go to fire it up. Isn't he going to come and kind of give me some crossover training? Because I never flown a turbine yet. Actually, I, technically, I did a little bit. But I'm like, I don't know the start sequence. I, I, Anyways, I'll just, here's the cheat sheet, you know, the your checklist. I'll just do it. And I'm trying to get it off the skids. And I'm, as soon as I start pulling collective... It wants to roll right again, like the first dream. What the F, man? I'm like, okay, well, it's a, it's a bigger bird. It's at least got hydraulic system, you know, so let me try that again. Ugh, damn. Maybe, I, let me just pick this thing up to like a two-foot hover and just get this over with. Get it off the ground. And then I go to pull it, and it's like, whoa. I'm like, no, no, put it down, put it down, put it down. Whoa, get down. Okay, we're done. Shut her down. Uh, there's something wrong. Get off the, out of the helicopter. And I have a part in my hand. I'm holding it, left hand. It's kind of cylindrical. And I know, I just get that it, this came from the rotor head, the main rotor head. Don't know what it is, but that's that. Well, there, my helicopter anyways, has these dampeners on each of the three blades on the rotor head. And um, I don't know when the last time they've been replaced because they don't typically go bad, so they last a long time. But I thought, well, if one of those failed and didn't dampen properly, would that have a roll to the right reason? I don't think so. I don't think so. But there are pitch links, three of them technically, um, that when you move the cyclic and left, right, forward, rear, or aft, it will pitch the appropriate blade at the right time and all that. Pitch link, whatever all that's connected to, yeah, that could certainly do it. If it rolls to the right and you can't stop it, yeah, there could definitely be something up there. So again, I, I don't know. I don't know what the hell I had in my hand. I just in the dream, but <clears throat> Trump was not in the helicopter with me. <coughs> but he was just right over there as I was coming towards him with the part in my hand. We saw each other, and we both did a quick little side eye, like we we kind of knew each other, like we got a secret friendship. Even even though to be honest, we don't. <laughs> like in real life, we don't. But it, in the dream, we did, and we both knew it, but we couldn't let everybody know so it was like we just did a quick side eye as we went walk past each other but there he is in my dream and his family his kids were all around a, a table eating lunch or brunch or something and i don't know if i've told you this and then um i'll just say it again if i did i um where's the bathroom oh it's down down that hall and then there's another hall all right go to the bathroom i gotta go to the, i gotta go pee i get down to that second hallway out pops jeffrey epstein Epstein Island. Epstein. Yeah. Hey, Joe. How's it going, man? Hey, listen. You know, I just... I'm just... I was just wondering... Uh, I mean, have you... You ever... could? Would you... Have you ever considered... Coming over to our side? You know, not... Not everything is bad. Okay? There's some benefits to being on our side. You know? And, I, and I'm thinking to myself in the dream, I'm on the Trump train. I'm never getting off this Trump train. Uh, there's not a chance in hell I would ever join your side. I would rot in hell. And I would never do that. But I'm thinking, I don't think you should tell him no right now because is he going to hurt you, kill you? Is, 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 is his security people going to come and do something to you? And I'm like, all right, think quick. 
uh, so I go, oh, listen, I said, you know, I, you know, I didn't, I've not really thought about it. I said, you know, Jeffrey, um, man, why don't you give, give me a day or two? Let me think about it. And he was like, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. And he was happy with that answer. So I was like, you know, I'm not contacting you in a day or two or ever. Get the F out of here. And then I wake up. But as I'm waking up, this whole feeling of like, I don't want to say the world's on your shoulders, but it was kind of a feeling like that. And it was like, are you going to try to get this new information to Team Trump somehow? Because you got a part in your hand. Maybe that'll help them understand something. And I was like, well, I guess I'll try. But it was like, if you don't, and he decides one day to get on the plane when he shouldn't, or, or the aircraft, helicopter, whatever it is, it's almost like I, ha I could have stopped it. And by me not trying to reach out is me basically giving up on him. And if he does die, then the whole world is screwed and we're all in big trouble. Like, it's that big of a deal. So what are you going to do? And I'm like... I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm going to try. Give, give him some new information. That's what I tried to do. So, <clears throat> second dream. Once again, helicopter. Part in my hand. Wants to roll to the right again. Just like the first dream did. Huh. Third dream. We're being chased, me and him, in a helicopter, being chased by another helicopter that's shooting at us. And there's Russians in the helicopter shooting at us. And they hit us and we basically do an auto rotation, essentially a crash landing, but it's it's like a controlled landing. And we get out and run and take cover at like a restaurant or some little some little business. And they were like, yeah, come in, come in, you know, like we'll hide you. So the locals were like, we know you are good guys, you know, like, come on in. Until things blow over, then you can leave when you want. So we stayed there. I felt like it was a few weeks, two or three weeks maybe. So I'm like, okay, what? Well, What's your interpretation of what just happened? Well, number three, time an effing helicopter being forced down, auto rotation, you know, emergency landing. That's not good. It's a crash landing. What about the Russians? Yeah, Russia, Russia, Russia. The Russians did it. The Russians did it. That's my whatever. You, whenever you hear this thing with Trump, I think there's gonna be some kind of Russian nonsense attached to it. Oh, the Russians did it. And then the third thing, which or Harvey, what second or third thing? Why'd you go in hiding with him? Both of you. Like, well, we're, we were a team. He was pilot. I was co-pilot this time. He's never flown one in my dreams. But this time he did. And uh, I was going to say he's, you know, he's doing pretty good. You know, So, I mean, he, he landed us. He did the auto rotation. We got down. And we go inside this building and, and take cover for a while. You know, for like a few weeks, two or three weeks. So what's my interpretation? What do you feel? Well... Oh my God, President Trump's been attacked. His plane went down. Oh my God. He's feared dead. Da, da, da. But nobody knows. Was well, he or is he not? Was he on the plane or was he not? Well, we don't know. Sources say he was on. And then a little bit later, out pops Trump. They tried to take my plane down. The military's the only way. Look directly to Twitter, YouTube, whatever. Twitter. This storm is upon us like that kind of thing so i'm looking at all this it's like they're letting you know my spirit guides you are going to have a problem with your helicopter walt's telling you this stuff he's getting you're seeing it you just keep like oh it's just my helicopter because uh trump's gonna be a helicopter when's the last time you saw trump in a helicopter haven't seen him in one in a long time. He's been flying around in Trump Force One and big old jetliner. And uh, so, what about the helicopter? You know, and again, maybe, does he take a helicopter from the airport to where he's going sometimes? Usually it's a damn his car, his parade. You know, a parade, whatever you call it, you know, his, uh, his detail. And uh, so it's like, well, no, I have not seen him in a helicopter. Why do they keep shooting? Because it's your helicopter. You're, it's going to crash. Or you're going to almost crash or whatever. Like, we're warning you. And I'm like, I'm selling this effing thing. I'm done for now. 
And it's not because I was scared of, from the plane crash. Like, I was ready to get, I mean, I was if that thing would have started up, I would have been like, okay, I checked there, it's good. I probably would have already went back there and, over the night, last couple of days and flew it. Just flew it around the pattern of the airport. I would have stayed right there. You know, again, if something happens, I can just set it down right there. I'm already at the airport. Um, <clears throat> but I'm going, I don't even want to, I don't even want to get in it and hover it a foot or two off the ground even. No. I don't want to fly anything right now, especially that helicopter and especially with the information that I've been getting. Sell that mother effer. So I'm going to sell it. It is a Schweitzer 300C. But now it's like, well, wait a minute. If you're going to have a problem in that helicopter, why wouldn't someone else you sold it to have the same problem coming up? Either A, somehow I'm targeted and it's, they're going to make something happen, which I, I don't think that's the case on this. But, but nonetheless, maybe it is. I don't know. Or again, I'm seeing parts in my hand and that's not, it may have a problem. Therefore, whoever flies it next, at some point soon, it can have a the smoke thing the, or the crash landing, whatever. I don't want to sell that to somebody. I can't sell that somebody to somebody like that without me telling them, hey, listen, I get dreams and this is what I got. So I'm like, you know, the place that, the first place I took it for an annual, which was not the last time. They have lots of clients and things that need parts. With the, they specialize in these helicopters. And I thought maybe they could take mine in for parts. That way it's not being flown. And if there is a bad part when they get to it, oh, look at this, you know, I'd feel better about that. But I'm going, well, what are you going to do if, you know, I can't sell it. What, what do you do with it? Donate it somewhere and let someone part it out and not just get a write off? I mean, yeah. But. That'd be, a, that'd be a bit of a financial beating to do that. But nonetheless, I, you know, I'll be honest with you. I kind of don't care because I'm like, I, I, I can't sell. I, I don't want to sell that to somebody. Now, if I knew unequivocally, oh, you're, you're being targeted. Well, then that's how it's going to happen. I'll just sell it to somebody and they'll be fine. Again, watch the oil leak thing because I think there is an issue there, but you can, you can check that, you know? So... Anyways, this whole video is basically just me telling you I'm done flying, I guess, for now. Like anything. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, okay, well, what about the next time you go to New Mexico? And I'm going, I might just drive my effing truck. I might just go back the way I used to do it. Drive the truck. Two and a half day trip. Have fun. Two and a half days back. Oh. But... I don't really feel that feeling when I think about getting on a commercial flight, to be honest with you. It's really just the thing you own. <laughs> There's the problem, you know, or potential problem coming. So I'm going, yeah, okay, loud and clear. Thank you, spirit. Um, I'm, I'm out. Sell it. And then maybe by that time, we'll be filthy rich with crypto. Maybe I'll find a treasure in New Mexico. I'll finally have some little, little spending money. Hook my Patreon members up. I told them, if I find something, you'll be getting a boatload of, well, collectively, I should say, a boatload of XRP would be coming. Now, that would also assume I'm still able to get it at like under a dollar a coin. <laughs> but I go, the day will come when I find that damn thing out there. And when I find it, no one's going to know, but I'm going to give you a little bonus, a pretty big bonus. Each person on my Patreon who's live and a member at that time, you know, no jabronis. Hey, tell me when you get, when you find it so I can join. No, 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 no. We don't do jabronis around here. If you support J Snip, I love you. And I'm going to hook you up when I, when, when, when I find this and I'm, and I'm going to find it. I'm, I'm telling you now, I'm going to find it. When that mountain says, okay, it's time. Don't know when, when or what that means. Just, I know what it means, but it, I know I'll, I'll get in one day, but keep in mind, the bulk of whatever I find in there, every single time, if it's different ones in different places, I must, it's like into my soul contract, I must help those Indians off the drugs, off the alcohol, off the gang stuff and trafficking. Like it is bad beyond bad on a lot of these reservations. And I'm going, boy, do I have my work cut out for me? Jeez. 
But it's gonna take some money, a whole lot of spending cash, to do it, to do it, to do it, to do it right. So, anyways, I uh, just thought I would just share this video, maybe you find it interesting, maybe you wanted to know that, maybe you didn't, maybe you miss me. I don't know, but uh, that's all I gotta say about that.